everyone. Uh, welcome back or welcome to a Ramble with the Saints. Uh, we did the pilot episode and I uh, hope those of you listened to it enjoyed it and back by popular demand and by that I mean no one's told us to stop yet. We're going to do a, a special today. Uh, my name's Father Chris Gorton and my co-presenter is... I'm John Griffin. Hi everyone. Perfect. So uh, John and I are going to be doing a special today and what's the theme of our special today John? It's a special celebration for Our Lady of Walsingham. Um, as we know, it's the rededication coming up this weekend of Our Lady in England. So we're going to be concentrating on Our Lady of Walsingham. And um, the whole gospel focus of Our Lady in Walsingham is of the, in, of the Annunciation. So we're going to listen now to the gospel of the Annunciation. John's going to read this to us. So um, it's taken from St. Luke's Gospel, uh, chapter 1, verse 26 to 38. We heard this on Wednesday, the feast day. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God to a city of Galilee named Nazareth, to a virgin betrothed to a man whose name was Joseph, of the house of David. And the virgin's name was Mary. And he came to her and said, Hail, full of grace, the Lord is with you. But she was greatly troubled at the same and considered in her mind what sort of greeting this might be. And the angel said, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favour with God. And behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. And the Lord God will give to him the throne of his father David, and he will reign over the house of Jacob forever. And of his kingdom there will be no end. And Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I have no husband? And the angel said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Holy of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore the Holy Child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. And behold, your kingswoman Elizabeth in her old age has also conceived a son, and this is the sixth month with her who was called barren. For with God nothing will be impossible. And Mary said, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. Let it be to me according to your word. And the angel departed from her. For those of you who've had the privilege of going to the Holy Land, um, that gospel, well, it takes me straight back to Nazareth. And above the house of Our Lady, in Nazareth that marks the Annunciation. There's a a big church built now. And around the outside of the church, in big letters, um, they have the prayer of the Angelus. And we were there once, and we began to pray the Angelus at midday. And the bells began to ring, and they rang and rang, and it became so loud, so joyful, that we could hardly hear ourselves speak. It was wonderful. That gospel takes me to Nazareth. And it also takes me to Walsingham. Walsingham has a a deep and rich history with a devotion to Our Lady, which is very much part of the history of our country. And in 1061, Lady Richelda, the Lady of the Manor, who was a young widow, and who had a great devotion to Our Lady, wanted to do something uh, for God. And she had um, in a prayer a vision of Our Lady. And Our Lady took her to Nazareth and showed her the holy house and said, note these dimensions so that you can build a replica of this house in Walsingham. And so Lady Richelda did just that. She got the builders to to build this, but she didn't know where to put it. So again, in in prayer, um, then... What happened was there there was two dry patches where everything was covered in dew and she had to choose and she chose one and said to the builders, you you build here and these are the dimensions and and it wouldn't work. It didn't work. The builders said, we we can't do it. And Lady Richelda spent the night in prayer and the next day the house had been built but on the other spot and the builders said, well, it wasn't us and they said that good as they were, they couldn't possibly have managed that building. Instead, the angelic builders made this special house. 
And the idea of that was the invitation for Our Lady by coming to Walsingham was for people to share in the joy of the Annunciation. Joy is at the centre of Our Lady of Walsingham, the story of Our Lady of Walsingham. Joy in that fear, that yes to God. And the joy is she sees in her son, she sees her saviour. So we're called to be caught up in the joy of the Annunciation because it's part of the greatest story ever told. For God so loved the world that he sent his only son to save us. The Annunciation is part of that. The Incarnation is part of that. Jesus' death on the cross is part of that. But it goes beyond that to the resurrection. So Mm. we're called to be joyful with Our Lady. So uh, let the bells ring out and make this as, as much as we can a joyful celebration this weekend. Yeah, I noticed for the first time as well, Father, though, and as I was reading that gospel, um, as we know, it's rededication this Sunday, mm. and it's called Behold 2020, the whole, um, all the scripture and all the themes and everything, and, and the amount of times Behold came up in that, in that gospel. Um, Absolutely. I've heard when you, Behold means to ponder something in your heart, but also register it in your mind, so... It's quite a deep thing, isn't it, to behold? Well, if, and if we can have that in our hearts, because mm. it's also that links as well. And you think at the story, the presentation where Simeon says, you know, that a sword will pierce your heart. But Mary ponders these things in her heart. She keeps mm. this gospel message in her heart. So when she has to be stood at the foot of the cross, then she still has this hope and this joy within her. And that's extraordinary, isn't it? Mm. That, and that's what we're called to have in times of difficulty, times of worry, and times of suffering. We're called to have the joy of the Annunciation in our hearts, to behold, as you say, to keep it there with us. Yeah, and our lands desperately need um, Mary's blessing and protection, don't they? And... Well, we do, and I didn't realise, but, um, you know, dowry, and uh, we're going to be bringing somebody up to explain this more to us, Dairy means that England was given as a special gift mm. to to Our Lady. You know, so because there's a particular devotion to Our Lady in England. So it's very good that we want to rededicate at this time and be and experience that joy that we need. Okay, right. So um John. It will be wonderful if you, you did a fantastic live song on our first podcast. I'd be delighted if you could do a live song now. Uh, what are you going to sing for us today? It's the um, Hail Mary by CGM.
So now uh, we we can't play a guest this saint today, John. Right. Well, because you know you're going to guess it's our ladies. You know. Yeah. Too so, easy. Too easy. So what we're going to play twenty questions is guess the Marian shrine. Okay. Now I, I should have double checked something before we came on air, but Holly, my mate, rang, so yeah. I haven't done my homework, but I have got a got a place in mind. Okay, so it's a Marian shrine, John. Okay. <laughs> and it's not Walsingham. I'll give you that. Right. Because that would be easy. That'll be too easy. Yeah. That'll be a bit too easy. Okay. Yes. No answers. Off you go. Um, is it in England? No. Is it in Europe? No. You could get there very quick with those two questions. Mm. Um, is it in Brazil? No. No, I don't think it is. No. no My geography is not the best, so... Uh... Who, well, I can't... <laughs> Well, we could be getting complaints in now. Hang on. <laughs> right, ask something more and then we'll um, think of the same person. Is it Our Lady Guadalupe? Yeah, well, I think she's in Mexico. Oh, right. Yeah, she is. Is she? Is she? <laughs> yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. You just, you just made me... I, I was getting mixed up with Brazil and Mexico, but it's definitely Me- it's Mexico, isn't it? Right, there's quite... A, right, if you go on holiday, don't get too mixed up between the two. <laughs> Fantastic no. gathering in, in Brazil when uh, when the Pope was there. That was incredible. Yeah, World Youth yeah. yeah. So Our Lady of Guadalupe, another wonderful story of, of Our Lady there. Mm. So um, so we're, we're focusing, though, today on Walsingham. You've been to... Didn't you organise the diocesan pilgrimage to Walsingham? Last year, yeah, we had uh, six or seven coaches, and I've been wow. many times for uh, Youth 2000 and, and New Dawn, yeah. So what happens with the Youth 2000 and New Dawn? I've heard they're good. A good thing. Yeah, so it's it's basically just um, a farmer's field, and they come in and put in the big top tents, and um... presumably they take the cows out first. <laughs> they do, yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> the farmer does well, but um, yeah, a couple of thousand of young young people, uh, constant adoration of the Blessed Sacrament for the five yeah. days, uh, great talks, mass, and music, really. And when? What time of year is that normally? It's August time, I think. August, right? It's yeah. just in the summer holiday. Yeah. I've been with Student Cross. Mm. Um, have you ever heard of that? Yeah. So yeah. when I was a university chaplain, and, and it goes right back because in 1948, uh, as an act of reparation and reconciliation, 14 different full-size crosses were, were taken to Walsingham. Mm. And uh, so each year, Student Cross, there are at least nine different legs of Student Cross, uh, set off on the Friday before Palm Sunday, and they all arrive on Good Friday. And the interesting thing is, everybody wants to be the last cross to walk down the Holy Mile. So mm. we've got these big crosses, you carry the three people at a time in groups of 30. So I have known people in the past to be hiding <laughs> over a hedge with the cross <laughs> until the others have gone down to jump out to be the last ones to go in. And, uh, and people do the Holy Mile from the Slipper Chapel, uh, taking the shoes off as, as kings and queens of England have done, including Henry VIII. Henry VIII, actually, uh, was a great supporter of Walsingham and, until mm. he had it destroyed, really. Mm. And he paid for candles to be lit, and those candles were still burning at the time uh, when the monastery there was destroyed in, in around 1548. So um, it, it was one of the four medieval pilgrimage places in, in, in uh, Jerusalem, Rome, Santiago de Compostela, we'll be doing a special on that. I didn't tell you that yet, but I thought we will, because yeah. I've got a soundtrack for that. And ring one of my mates when I'm out on the Camino. And uh, Walsingham. So people came all from all over Europe, not just from England. And Extraordinary, it's, uh, isn't it? Yeah, and it's a special place for uh, unity, isn't it? In the yes. church, the, the two shrines, really, in the hope that there'll be yeah. one. Well, I've been, I've stayed in the Anglican shrine when I've been doing an icon writing course. I've done that on two occasions. So, mm-hmm. uh, yeah, it is very important. So, very special place, very special weekend. It's more than ever at these times mm. um, to, be, to be praying this prayer dedication. So, uh, I think it's probably time for us to, to call our guest, don't you? Uh, Father Frankie. <laughs> Father Christoph. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't... 
I don't think people realise. I can't that. believe we held up the recording. She went to make a brew. That's unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I didn't know he was going to be so quick. It's thirsty work, this, you know. Um, I'm sorry. Were you, in your, were you in your dressing room waiting? And um, in my dressing room. <laughs> I'm not getting. I'm not getting changed these days. I can't be bothered. I'm not getting changed. I mean, <laughs> the church is. Go on. I'm just in my shorts, you know, my T-shirt around here. It's really important to keep putting your uniform on every day. You know, just keep polishing your shoes. It is. Best. Routine. It is. I, I don't think... Let's slide down that fire, Paul. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're doing a lot. Doing a lot. I, I don't think people realise that we're not all sat in the same room. We're actually sat in three separate rooms. So what are you looking at at the moment, Father Frankie? I'm looking at my phone. I'm I'm very intense here. I'm looking at one minute, eight seconds, one minute, nine seconds. Yeah, well, I'm just in my office. Yeah, I'm just in where right. the computer is. Right. So yeah. uh, I'm looking out. Actually, I, to my left of me, I have I can see Salford Shopping Precinct. Right. Is it very quiet out there, I guess? Uh, <laughs> you don't want to know. Okay. <laughs> Probably not. That's a different question. <laughs> okay, then. What, John? <laughs> Yeah. Where, where are you? It's I, a I, nice day, you know. But yeah. Hashtag stay home. Go on, carry on. Yeah. I'm uh, in the centre of the universe, probably like your good self, Bolton. Well, I know, but I like. Are you in your mum's where? sitting room? Is she? No, I'm, in... I'm upstairs in in my room. <laughs> right. We, Is um... she banging on? Say, so keep down the noise. She banging on. <laughs> Stop it, <laughs> John. Luckily. Stop with those <laughs> Luckily, we've got headphones on, so... I'm sure I could hear the hoovering last time. <laughs> <laughs> My brother's just been mowing, mowing the lawn, so lucky that's finished. Right, well, there you go. More yeah. or less job for you, John. You... <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh, well, yeah, well, it's because it's a lovely day. So, um, John, speak to day. our guest. It's such a privilege to have him on. Yeah. Um, very uh, welcome, Father well, Frankie. Well, bless you. But I'm, I feel welcomed already. I feel welcomed. Thank you both. So this is a special episode for our Lady of Walsingham. And when we were uh, thinking about who we could welcome onto the show, we thought you good self with a real devotion Can you, get lady. Can you, not, can you not get old lady? I mean, that's fine. I don't mind thinking about after, but I mean, I know she, she's got a full diary, but yeah. yeah. She's got a full diary? <laughs> did you get that? <laughs> Pardon um, the pun. I did that. I can't myself sometimes, not a full diary. All right, no, it works. No, no man. Uh, well, no, we thought you, you've got, you've got, um, you've been, you've done your time in Walsingham, haven't you? Yeah, I love Walsingham. It's a great place, obviously, to Our Lady. Yeah, because, I mean, I, I should imagine, maybe for listeners, no, they don't. Obviously, it goes back to the 1000s, doesn't it? It used to be one of the top pilgrimage shrines in the whole world. Mm. Uh, right up there with, obviously, Jerusalem, but then with Rome and Santiago de Compostela. And it was when Our Lady appeared to a lady woman, a Ridelish. And she appeared to her and said, um, I want you to build a, a, a home, just like I had a home in Nazareth. And where the angel Gabriel came and asked me to be a mother of God. And uh, her key message was, I want people to share my joy, the joy that I had in being invited and accepting to be a mother of God, people to come here and share my joy. So that's a big aspect that people don't realize that um, it's, yeah, it's not only about coming to be pilgrimage, but Mary wants to share that joy, that joy which comes from the Holy Spirit. And that just, you know, wells up within us and it just bursts out and overflows so wonderful yeah. so have you been on them um, with john on is it youth 2000 or youth the 2000, yeah have you been on that one or... yeah, yeah we've, we've uh, sang a few uh, worship songs together there aren't we john down at we youth 2000 uh with uh, yeah youth 2000 yes because of course they have these super sort of uh, festivals that happen there uh, in the summer you've got new dawn in the church a charismatic family conference and youth, uh, youth 2000 where they get about yeah i guess about a thousand young people john if not more on occasions so mm. um yeah so um but yeah I, I, you know just at various times of the year i've been privileged to go really and uh, it's, it's just a great place so so this is the hope now this sunday you know that uh, we'll be putting it more on the map you know because i think was it pope leo that said uh, when england comes back to walsingham our lady will come back to england exactly now that's come back yeah, get back in your coffin, Elvis. This is a this is a comeback. This is a comeback. <laughs> so, um, so, so, but yeah, this is exciting. We're rededication this Sunday. And and how are you? Are you uh, are you live streaming at your place at the moment, Father Frankie? Are you? I, I am live streaming. Mm. Not literally this moment, uh, no. but I'm 
I know, this is this would be something, wouldn't it? Yeah, this is this would captivate people, wouldn't it? Just speaking into a phone, yeah, shouting <laughs> shouting down a phone and well, um, <laughs> No, I am. I've started. I've started, I've started. Yeah, having a rant. This could be a whole new podcast. Rant into your phone. Hashtag rant into your. Phone. Anyway, so. Um, Yes, yeah, so um, we're starting streaming. Yeah, I've got a couple of parishioners here. Emmanuel and Tracy have been very, very helpful and, and kind of set me up in pole position, really. So uh, yeah. I'm able to sort of uh, live stream via Periscope. Oh, on okay, the, yeah. Well, yeah, the Periscope. <laughs> okay, well, no, 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 yeah, listen, I better keep coming up every so often to catch my breath and then go back down again. So, <laughs> so... <laughs> Down the deep end of the swimming pool. Oh, okay, so you're doing it like that, yeah? Very exciting. So we're live streaming, yeah, Sundays and Wednesdays. Actually, you know, every night we do Holy Hour each night. But you know what? I'm not the most technical-minded tech-savvy, so I've had to be coached through it. I've had to be coached through it. And and I think I think we're getting we're getting all of the Holy Hour now. We won't – not everybody's getting all of the Holy Hour. <laughs> we had a few glitches. They're getting – some of them were only having a holy couple of minutes, but, but they're getting the Holy Hour now. They're getting the Holy Hour now. So. That is, yeah, that, that's good. We, we, we froze on uh, Saturday, Sunday morning, but now we've got the BT Engineering and it's all up and running. So we're very happy about that now. We're on, we're on every morning, you know, doing Mass, Holy what? Hour. And then we did the well, today. well, I was tempted to do that. I just thought the pressure, though. I thought, hang on. Because <laughs> I don't... Oh, because I don't... It's that thing, isn't it? When you're on your homily. When you're on your homily and you go on live stream and you're thinking, oh, the pressure's on a bit now. Yeah, every, every, uh, yeah everybody can be watching this. I tell you what, I'm even going to do it next Monday because the golf course is a shot. Yeah. <laughs> That's a sacrifice, that. So, well... <laughs> Yeah. So I thought, well, you know, to be fair, in solidarity with everyone, as long as that's the case, I'll, uh, I'll I'll do a mass on a Monday. So that a lot of people like it, though. I bet you've had some good feedback, have you, Frankie? Have they they liked it? Have they? I think so. Yeah, I think yeah, I think Emmanuel and Tracy were saying there was some good feedback out there. Yeah, and there'd been one or two hits. Uh, more than my parents watching, so which is always a win-win. Always a win-win. When you get more than mum and dad, you know, you, you're, like, you're, you're off to a flyer. You're bad if, they, if they drop out, isn't it? You're like, yeah. Mum and dad are no longer watching. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's a critic. <laughs> uh, I didn't even know there was a thumbs down icon. I didn't even know there was a one of those. One of those uh, emojis, thumbs down. I didn't even know there was one. <laughs> so listen, lots of people seem to be taking up new hobbies while we're a bit more house kind of normal. <laughs> uh, so, are you, are you taking up a new hobby at the moment, Frankie? Have you got one, you know? Well, to be honest, Father Chris, I, um, I haven't really, you know? I mean, I should think about it. I, you see, I mean, where I am in St. James, it's this, this presbytery. I think this presbytery has been here a while. I mean, the, the, the actual original building was like 1875 and then the new build, but the, the house, it's a big house. I mean, to get isolated, I, I don't know if I count, to be honest, for houses that big. I don't know if I'm technically if I am isolated. I mean, it's just like, it's, it takes that's half your, a day to get from one end to the other. I mean, that's I don't your know. daily exercise. <laughs> yeah, that's it, yeah. You want to broadcast that at nine o'clock in the morning like that chap's doing for the nation. You, Father Frankie up and down the stairs. <laughs> you, you know, so, we do live, live stream, hide and seek. <laughs> I'd like to see that. Father Frank will run by with his 24 room house. <laughs> if he's not found in three days, we'll come and find him. <laughs> oh dear. So, well, John, are you taking up any new hobbies while you're there? New, new musical instruments? I'm, or... I'm trying to improve my guitar playing and uh, going on my daily walk. Right. Rosary around the estate. Are you, oh, listen, have you, have you, yeah. Father Frank, have you been out doing your exercise as well? Well, no, I, no, I am going to. I am going to. I haven't been. I do like a good jog. Do like a good jog, yeah. but it was just. It's that kind of. Uh, it's for social distances, isn't it? Okay. I wanted to get a good time. Because to be honest, that. I went out maybe in the last week, and I don't think too many people. Well, the people I certainly was passing them a job weren't taking the whole social distancing I, seriously. I think it's become a lot more. I was just Especially like, the guy chasing after me while I was talking. He definitely wasn't taking it seriously. But <laughs> well, I've, no, noticed, uh, I've noticed the last couple of days people are taking it a lot more seriously. Mm. Actually, um, it's good. Yeah, I yeah. think it's it's an important point. But uh, let me tell you, there are some you know, e outfits out there that haven't been in the sunlight for some time. Right, there are some 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 tracksuits and some fashion accessories that I'm thinking 
this is good that they're getting taking part in running and walking again. There's some real <laughs> retro looks out there, myself included. So, <laughs> so choose your wardrobe wisely. Um, but you, <laughs> but you know what I'm wondering amidst all this. Go on. It's a bag for life, a carrier. <laughs> That's what I'm wondering. That's what I'm wondering. Hey, well, you st- you get on, I got my shopping delivered before. Very fortunate to be able to get it. They're putting it back in bags again. You know, they stopped doing it. Oh, they yeah. started doing it again. Mm. Yeah. Well, there we go. I tell you what, just, you know what I'm going to try and take up, right? A, a new hobby. I'm going to try and learn how to juggle. Oh, yeah, that'd be a really good If I have a friend, I can teach you via Zoom or something. I think, yeah, yeah. It wouldn't work <laughs> in this one because I can't see him. No, there jo- might be a delay. <laughs> Father Jonathan Hart, when we were on a, a silent retreat once at Loyola Hall, decided that was the time to learn how to juggle. And I was in the room next door, and all I could do was da 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 thud da da thud And then I went, stop learning to juggle. Do something else. But people are doing lots of different things. And uh, I've got any tips, Father Frankie, for, you know, help people get through these times? Anything in particular? Yeah. Well, what could they do? Well, I think they've got to, I think they've got to laugh. I think yeah. they've got to, because sometimes that's just, you know, they're going to be joyful. Just, you know, um, I guess, you know, it's, it's, it can be a bit intense. And I guess if, if they're watching the news a lot as well. Um, yeah. doesn't always paint a, a great picture. But I think to be joyful... I think to keep laughing and and and, uh, and joking with each other. I think uh, to stay. I think try and stay positive, hopeful. I think it's, it's yeah. about hope. It's a message of hope. Certainly, if um, if we're people of faith, it's going to be all about the hope. You know, it's going to be. You know, it's um, it's not that Jesus didn't say these things were going to happen, did he? You know, I mean, he kind of predicted things like this in the gospel. So, but it's just um, yeah, it's that trust, isn't it? It's that trust that in the good and the bad. Emmanuel, God never leaves us. You know, as, as we had we had that reading reading the other day, the gospel reading. You know, of um, mm-hmm. the angel Gabriel saying to our lady, for, "For Lord is with you." You know, I'm, I'm back in the prophecy of Isaiah: the virgin will conceive and bear a son. His name will be an Emmanuel, God with us. So I think in the thick and the thin, it's trusting in that that God doesn't leave us. And I think what a key opportunity now for people to really take opportunity to pray if they don't if they don't pray or they pray a little bit each day there's there's a real opportunity here for them to go deeper in the relationship with God and and really allow him to uh, let him bless them in these days you know and fill the fill the hearts of all these love and all these peace and joy and if, could you give any tips any prayer tips for anybody you know a simple prayer that people could say yeah well i think i think one of the most simplest prayers really simple prayer and it says very powerful prayer Come Holy Spirit. Yeah. Come Holy Spirit. You know, I like what the papal preacher, uh, Father uh, Cantona Messa, the, uh, the preacher to yeah. the papal household, and he has been the last two popes and the current pope. And, he, and I love, he has this reflection where he says, God's only got one answer to every prayer. He sends the Holy Spirit. Wow. He, yeah, he sends the Holy Spirit. And so, yeah, absolutely. That, there's that, that's a simple one. But yeah, the rosary, I think the rosary is great to yeah. do, especially as families. And if they get involved in the live streaming, of course, you know, like in each parish, a lot of parishes now, and certainly the Dyson website, Silver Dyson website is, is showing which parishes are, are streaming. So to get involved in, in the Mass on a Sunday and the various devotions that happen during the week and, and uh, Mass on Monday now at Father Chris's place. Yeah, the golf is off. So Thank definitely God. Mass on Monday morning. Well, That's, well, um, uh, well listen, <laughs> that, but once the courses are open again, um, you know, you've been live streaming from there. I've been last streaming from there. All is for courses, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah well, no, that that's all good advice. No, we 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 playing. A, we had Father Andrew Pastores on 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 our first one, and we were playing guest of theme too. Um, Fantastic. How is he? How is Father Andrew? Is he well? Very well. He was very complimentary about Father Mark Harrell's live streaming, and in particular the oh. very impressive monstrance. Mm. Wow. So, okay. We're going to be getting okay. Father Mark on, and we're going to ask him to be. Talking about that, um, okay. and and you but know, not on a Monday when the golf's back up and ready. But any other day, I just that's my that's my tip. Yeah, yeah. The uh, but he was he was a little bit well. What he, he kept asking us all questions about what technology. Well, we he, used yeah. His podcast. He's got about three different camera angles. It's really impressive. He's a C Saint Vincent's Bolton. He's got um, cameras. Wow. His readers dial in remotely. It's really good. Yeah. Has he got a trailer where he puts his makeup on and then comes out? Well, I and then comes, so, yeah. What's this? Is he missing? Good grief. He's all the light Whoa, okay. in his mirror in his bathroom. And, yeah, so, so 
and he, he's and, and I think he thought that we didn't have quite enough equipment. You no. know, he kept asking us technically. We just kept saying, we've got a phone. iPhone. You know, how are you doing this? It's a phone. <laughs> so, you know, we're glad to hear that you're down the end. You're down the same end as us. Yes, I am pretty much. So, so I'm, I'm the battery goes phone. low in this. There's no streaming. <laughs> No much more. I end up in the kitchen. Um, <laughs> there's no plan B. There's no, there's no plan B. That's the wonderful thing. That, well, we talked about that in the last episode, mm, which I'm did. sure you listened to carefully. Um, so we were going to play. I was going to do an on the you know on the podcast um, card trick, right? Fantastic. Uh, is is there? Was, is this? Yeah, go on. Well, what I was going to say is, uh, uh, but I, I can see the flaw in this, but. Just in your mind, choose a card, yes. any card, Father Francis. Have you chose it? I have chose my card. Oh, Don't wait. I just let you see it. No, no, I won't show it you. I won't show it you. Right. I'm holding up a window at Salford Precinct. No, no, I won't show it you. I won't show it you. Is it the Ace of Spades? No. Oh! He's not got in one, has he? Is it the two of spades? No, hang on. Well, is no, you, you the, kind of, you're half right. Is it, is it the three of spades? Because it's certainly a card. You were half right. It's definitely a card. Is it the so, four, no. You see, this is the problem. It could take me 52 guesses to get that. And you may have put the jokers in. And that's not fair. Yeah. So, instead, what I'm going to do... Uh, but to you were half right. <laughs> you have the right, you have the right type of card. It was an ace. It was an ace. Okay, then. Was it the ace? All right, then. We're carrying on with this game. <laughs> <laughs> um, I've, got, I've got another chance. Was it uh, the ace? Just of... when you thought there was a dead in the water. Go on, yeah. Was it the ace of hearts? No. The ace of clubs? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> was it the ace of clubs or not? Chris, I don't know how to break this to you. You need a plan B. I oh. don't know how to break this to you. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. The other thing, I back up. No, no, it was Ace. It was the Ace of Clubs. Ah, it was the Ace of Clubs. Not bad, but well, that's not bad. Actually, was it? But what I was thinking of doing was balloon sculpting live on the podcast. <laughs> but instead, because it's meant to be a ramble with the Saints, I'm just going to ask you, see if you know any of these, right? If you know who okay. is, I'll make it uh, an easy one first because we've got to remember all these people in our prayers. Who uh, are the patron saint of doctors? Either of you can answer that. Patron saint of doctors. Is your man, Martin de Porres, is he knocking around a bit with that one? Well, I, I could check it. You may well as well. Or John, John of God. Oh, well, I mean, I've, I haven't got it down, but hang on. John of God. John of God. Yeah, hospital workers and nurses. So St. Luke okay. as well, of course. Mm -hmm. Of course, uh, yeah, yeah, physician, yeah. yeah. Still yeah. there. Um, let me see. Let's find another. I'll tell you, this is one of my favorites. Who's patron saint of TVs? Oh, uh, yeah, it's Claire Assisi, oh. isn't it? No. Uh, yeah. Is it? Do you know why? I thought it'd be Mother Angelica, but no, she's not a saint yet. She's not a saint, is she? <laughs> no, no, no. She, <laughs> no. Did, she did start EWTN, though. No, but, yeah, yeah, no, but, but, but that's great, John. You're, you're promoting a, a course of canonization. That's good. You, I, you, I can't you. Google it because I'm recording on my phone. Oh, right. What okay. makes you think I'm on my laptop, which I am? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, but what what was the reason before? Oh, by the way, have we? I don't know. Have we plugged Sunday though for everybody to do a rededication this Sunday? We're we will get back to Claire Assisi. We're going to finish. Okay, that, okay we're going to finish. Okay, sorry. Yeah, All right, yeah, sorry. No, I'm, I'm jumping the gun here. Do, sorry. You do the big finish and lead into the Angelus. That's what we're thinking. Mm -hmm. See okay, yeah, yeah, that sounds good. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, let me just tell you, and then we'll, we will move to that. Um, John edits, <laughs> but he doesn't edit much. Um, he, okay. he actually left most of the mistakes in on the last podcast and took the good bits out, <laughs> according to one of our critiques. But anyway. Um, He'll struggle with this one. There's nothing but mistakes. Go on, carry on. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. called, it's, we, we, look, it's, we can't be done because it's called a ramble with the saints, and we're rambling. Okay. Okay. Saint Claire of Assisi, right? Apparently, what yes. happened is she was too poorly to go to Midnight Mass. All the other sisters went to Midnight Mass. So she live-streamed it. Sorry. Yeah. Well, you know, it's very important. You see, it's very... Actually, when you think about it, they came back and they started to tell her all that had happened during the Mass. And she said, no, stop. I have seen it all in a vision. 
Wow. wow. So that yeah. is why she's patron saint of television. Very apt at the moment with all the live streaming that's going on. And visions can't it go is. down, yeah, can yeah. they? And visions what? No, they visions can't, can't freeze. freeze at the holy holy. Can't freeze and do like <laughs> Tuesday when we had the, no sound, but we've got sound now. <laughs> it looked like I was just doing a silent mass. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> no, and honestly, that was one of my. I, I was really pleased with that homily, and nobody heard it. <laughs> <laughs> and I couldn't really do it the next day because it didn't fit. No. So that's a bit of humility, <laughs> which is a constant need of me. Right, so, so Father Frankie, yes, we've got Sunday, big day, rededication of England to our, the, as the dowry of Our Lady. Um, so perhaps we could lead us in a, into some prayer time now and lead us into the Angelus. And what we thought for the Angelus is you do the first bit and I'll do the second bit. You know the responses. Yeah, certainly. So can I just give a, re- a quick recap then on what, what, why the bishops are doing it? So, so here's the amazing thing, everybody. The bishops said this about two years ago. Even though we find ourselves in the times in which we live in, uh, they said two years ago, let's rededicate England uh, into Our Lady's Immaculate Heart. Let's let's go with the title that King Richard II in the 1300s, when England was going through different difficult circumstances, but still going through difficult circumstances, he named England as Mary's Dowry. You know, so as so when a son has a mum, he he gives her property, he gives her possessions, and and King Richard King Richard II said England will be Mary's Dowry, and we'll consecrate it into her heart and 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 for her maternal motherly blessings and protection over us, and so. The momentum that's gone on with this upcoming this Sunday, I noticed Portugal have been inspired, Ireland have been inspired, I think even Spain. So countries are now actually doing a similar thing and consecrating in the times which we're living in, consecrating the, the country to, to Our Lady's Immaculate Heart. So this is what the Catholic faithful are being invited to this Sunday is to rededicate England back to Our Lady's Immaculate Heart, not only uh, ourselves, but our hearts, our lives, our families, our homes. And, uh, and our nation. So let's, um, let's pray in anticipation for that as we do the Angelus in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary. And she conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done unto me according to thy word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the word is made flesh. And dwelt amongst us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech for your Lord, by grace into our hearts, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ by Son was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection, the same Christ our Lord. Amen. May divine assistance remain always with us. May the souls of the departed. For mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. I'm so excited about Sunday. I think miracles galore. We're in Starford and big time for Mary's prayers. Mm. Wonderful. Great. Well, thank you, Father Chris. Well, thanks, thank John. You very much, no problem, Frankie. Father Frankie. Thanks for joining um, us. You know, you'll, you'll always be welcome again. In response to Our Lady's uh, message of, of the angel Gabriel, yes. she sung that great song of praise, didn't she? The Magnificat. Um, and a personal yes. favourite of mine, I know it is probably a Father Frankie's, and maybe you, <laughs> Father Chris. Uh, yeah, I like it as well. All right. <laughs> the old voice is setting of uh, the Magnificat. So we'll listen uh-huh. to that now.
Bless him, bless him.